Won't you come see about me? I'll be alone dancing and you know it, baby. Tell me your troubles and downs. Giving me everything inside and out and out. Love strange, so we'll never part. Think of the tender things that we were working on. Slow chains may pull us apart. Wonder if I can enter your heart, baby. Won't you forget about me? Don't, 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 don't you forget about me. When you'll stand above me, look my way and never love me. Rain keeps falling, rain keeps falling down, down, down. When you recognize me, call my name or walk on by. Rain keeps falling, rain keeps falling down, down, down. Do, do. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh, 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 whoa. Do, do. Good evening, guys. Silver 5150 here. I am going through some more fractionals for you. Some of you guys that watched my early videos, you've seen something to this effect before. These are one gram pieces. All right, let's get a close look at one. One gram. These things are tiny. Well, can be. Combi bar, 100 times one, come on, 100 times one, come on, deep, there it goes, 100 times one, three nines fine, one gram, combi bar sections, this is a section, and these are what these look like, these here look like this, when you break them apart, I got a story to tell you about brotherly love, so there was a while back when um, I was approaching 5,000 ounces, and I asked the G-man to help me out, and, you know, um, get my stack put out so we can you know, doing inventory and stuff. See how close I was at 5,000 ounces. And I wasn't paying attention to what was going on, and he cut the assay sections off of these bars. Now, you look at this. This is the assay, assay section on this bar. It tells you the purity. It tells you the weight. It tells you, you know, um, who assayed it and all that stuff. And so you kind of want to have this with the combi bar, right? <laughs> I walk over to the table, man. We set everything up, and this cat has got a pair of scissors going, just a clipping and a clipping and a clipping. And guys, what you're looking at here, these are the ones that didn't make it. Before I caught them, he had probably clipped about 10 or 15 of these. And I, I, I really wanted to murder, but I couldn't because he was trying to help and, and whatnot. So it, the devaluation started right away <laughs> with these copy bars. But you know what? I still love him. He's a good guy. You know what? I don't hold that against him, but I do remember the story. I have forgiven, but I haven't forget. I'm not forgetting. So, these are the Belcambi Combi Bars. Let's go ahead and pull one out again. Belcambi Combi Bars um, from Credit Suisse, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, I'm sorry. From Belcambi. All right. And um, these are pretty cool. I mean, these are pretty cool because they give you a lot of fractional um, silver in a compact space. And, in fact, you can go ahead and flip this assay thing down, flip it down like that, and you can actually put it in your breast pocket. Um, you won't be able to fit it in your wallet. They got a smaller one that's gold you can fit in your wallet. But anyway, that's uh, how those work. But, you know, guys, I'm a small man. I like to get small, and I like to talk about the smaller things that we can appreciate. Like right now, we're appreciating, you know, everything the government's trying to do. And I think everybody's about to get a pretty good vacation for those of you that are not critical um, in society. But this is also a shout-out to those people those stackers that go, don't touch it. Put gloves on. You're going to ruin them. The instant you touch it, it devalues. Okay, here's the deal. I think we're going to come up on a time to where this can be dingy and beat up, but still test positive <laughs> for silver, and people are not going to care. Come on, get out of there. And, um, you know, it's going to be used as currency. It's going to be used as currency. I plan to use this to make payroll. Payroll for what, you say? You guys have seen my stack. I plan on having a company.
basically where people that are good at certain things are going to go out and it's just going to be acquiring distressed assets, whether it's properties, whether it's, I mean, because, you know, before I was talking about traveling and stuff, but we can't travel, we're going to have to do something. So um, some will be for travel, but some will be for acquiring assets. You know, maybe oil will still be low. can acquire some oil, um, you know, properties or acquisitions, you know, properties out there, maybe some coastal properties or something like that. Stocks, bonds, all that stuff's going to be up for sale here in the new paradigm. They'll be, you know, the same type of deal, but it'll just be in a different type of uh, investment market. So I've got family members and friends lined up. I know what their skill sets are. I've been recruiting them the whole time. They don't know it. But that's my plan. My plan is to go ahead and hire, you know, some of these people that are either going to be dislocated from their careers, what have you, because I am that confident. Listen to me, guys. I am that confident that silver is going to be the next wealth cycle, not only the next wealth cycle, but the big technology metal and the big monetary metal. OK, it's going to be money. It's going to be technology. It's going to be um, asset backing. It's going to be it just you name it, everything, uh, medical, all of it. Silver, the new silver age is coming. All right. So this is just a small part of it. Um, I've got more Valcambis um, that are clipped and snipped. Thanks to the G-Man. He meant well. Ooh. And, uh, and I'm going to be breaking those apart. And I'm going to make this pile even bigger. And some of these I'm just going to probably take random out on the street sometimes. And if I see somebody that's shooting kind of low and, you know, silver's being accepted somewhere, you know, I'll drop a couple of them on them. I ain't got no problem with that because I got them for a very good price. I bought these Valcambis back in 2017-18. When Provident was selling them, it had them on sale for like $67 or something. Now, do I have to tell you who turned me on to that? Do I have to tell you? Do I have to tell you? The broker. Yes, the broker. My good friend, the broker. He was paying attention. He was up one night at 2 o'clock in the morning. Like, oh, my God. These things are on sale. Because I had bought some at a higher price before. And, uh, you know, I had no problem with that because I think they're very much worth it. So if you buy one of these individually, and I said in one of my early videos, they're going to run you probably close to 2 bucks a piece. One of these squares can probably run about two bucks a piece, but I was able to get them for around 67 cents a piece back when I bought them bulk. I bought volume pricing, obviously, got free shipping, right, at a time when the price was really low. But my cost price average for these Valcambi combi bars, oh, let's get another closer look. These things are so gorgeous, um, was probably more like $80 each because I paid over 100 for some and under 70 for others. So not trying to come off as heroic, like I killed the market, I didn't kill it, you know, but I got somewhere in the middle. And that's, that's really what all you want to do. When you're investing in silver, you want to get in the middle. So um, let's talk about the retail market tonight. So I noticed something on Atmex tonight. On Atmex tonight, man, I uh, went on there, and all of a sudden, because I've got in my account, I've got some 2019 Libertads, and they happen to still be for sale. If you have things in your account, in your Atmex account, that's in your portfolio, um, they will tell you, you know, what you paid for it, and they'll tell you what the actual uh, the acquisition cost versus the um, sell cost or whatever, you know, they're willing to pay for it and stuff like that. And Libertad shot up like mm, I'm gonna say thirty percent in the last few hours. I don't know why that is. My speculation, guys, is that the country of Mexico they must have said something, or they must be seriously considering monetizing silver as currency as money. I know Hugo Salinas Price, who uh, used to own the Electra stores in Mexico years and years ago, a uh, billionaire, he uh, had been an advocate for silver's money for a long time, and he had gone you know, round and round with the Mexican government trying to get them to monetize silver. Because, you know, Argentina and Mexico, you know, Argent, of course, Argent is Latin for silver. Um, Argent Pure, you see on the uh, Royal Canadian Mint coins, you know, is a pure silver. Um, Argentina and Mexico should be two of the richest countries in the world, but for reasons that are political and possibly military or cartel related they are some of the poorest countries in the world and it's just ridiculous that that's the case um but if mexico is the first ones out the gate to move to having silver's money i can guarantee you they're going to zip past some of these other countries that are still steeped in currency just people knowing that they have that backing behind their money will have them flocking to do um, what a lot of people are doing right now with the dollar so we don't know if they're going to do that i hope they do that but um, until then, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, stack as much as I can. You know, I'm stacking quite a bit. You guys stack quite a bit. Stack as much as you can because when these changes happen, you, you don't know. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you're, not, you don't give, you're not giving a warning. If the G20 got together this weekend or the G7 got together this weekend, talking about the seven uh, most powerful countries that are most, 20 most, most powerful countries, and decided on um, changing the currency or changing the financial system on Monday, would you know today? Would you know tomorrow? No. You'd know Friday after they've already done it. 
And then you're hearing things like, you know, well, $100 bills and $50 bills are no longer any good. $20 bills are going to be gone next week. And only fives, tens, and, and ones are functional for now until they go completely digital, what have you. How does that work? How does that look? We move to a global currency that's digitally backed. That's going to wipe out all the debt, but it's also going to wipe out all the paper wealth out there. So it's a double whammy. You can get your debts wiped out, but you're also going to have your wealth wiped out um, if you're based in paper. And that means currencies, derivatives, stocks, any of that stuff. If they change the system. Now, I'm not trying to scare nobody. They might not change the system. They might try to salvage this one. That's all fine and good. But if they do move to another system, if they move to an all-digital system where everything's valued differently, this... Precious metals, they are the only vehicle, unless you have really good ties with the government, that can get you from where we are now to where they're trying to take us. All right? And I do think they're trying to take us somewhere. Um, fractional silver you know, has its role in terms of, you know, uh, especially in hyperinflation. Hyperinflation comes along, silver goes to $5,000 an ounce, maybe even $60,000 an ounce. It could go to infinity, actually. But let's just say for the sake of math, we say $60,000 an ounce. Uh, silver goes to gold is, you know, half a million dollars an ounce. So, you know, uh, 10 to 1, 11 to 1 silver to gold ratio still. But at that time, say you want to use gold or silver to buy something and the thing that's denominated, say gas is $400 a gallon, you still wouldn't want to use an ounce of silver to buy, you know, a tank of gas because it's going to, you know, you're going to over, you know, overspend to do that unless you're going to do your neighbor behind you that's, you know, uh, parked behind you, what have you. But that's where the fractional comes in. Tenth ounce, quarter ounce, half ounce. Um, you know, when it comes to grams, I think, you know, you have a uh, hundred gram and some other different gram denominated silver, but, uh, these one gram squares, they are really ideal for a lot of things you would want to do. Like saying, just getting regular stuff, you know, I don't know if you'd be able to use them at the grocery store. I know grocery stores in LA that will actually weigh out silver and you can pay them in silver. Um, I know that you've got a farmer's market. This is a good way to have, you know, small change, so to speak. You know, just to buy like the fresh vegetables and stuff you want to get because society is going to still function. We're still functioning right now, even though everybody's on, you know, what do you call it? Um, you know, a shelter in place, what have you. Um, I'm making these videos longer now because I think it's more important that we just kind of, you know, just collaborate and talk with each other about uh, what we expect to see, what's going to be going on and stuff. I've got some friends right now that are still asking me, you know, what do I feel about, you know, how they should allocate their cash. You know, someone's asking me, should I look at getting into a mutual fund and all this stuff. If you guys have been paying attention to me, you know I do not trust any paper denominated assets at this point. And I think come the end of next week, I'm going to have a lot of company. All right. But be that as it may. Oh, let me show you my cool bag here, by the way. I have no idea where I got this bag, but it says DG. And I think this is actually from Provident Metals, maybe. No. Yeah, E.G. Evergreen. I don't know where this is from. But this is perfect for carrying my fractional silver in. And you see my older video, you know, I was walking around talking about this. You're going out and you end up into a strange village and you want to get some lodging for the night and maybe a steak, something like that, and a flag and a veil. You want to have, you know, your, your satchel here filled with the sharp and shiny to get the things you need. Maybe even get some information from a shady character out in the corner somewhere. You want to be able to do that. And um, so I have this cool bag for it. But um, any fractional guys will do. Any fractional you can get will do. Um, you're going to pay a premium for fractional. Understand that. Unless you can buy bulk, unless you can buy, you know, volume pricing um, when you go to do it, if you find some fractional silver, grab it. Now, constitutional silver, which people call junk silver, I don't think any coined silver is junk, so I won't use that term. Constitutional silver is what I use. It's from the United States, and it used to be the law of the land. It still is the law of the land, but it, you know, it got moved out for uh, base metal currencies and coins. Um, I don't really, I'm not an advocate of old, you know, 64, 65 dimes, pre-66 uh, silver quarters, what have you, because there's a lot of math involved. A lot of people stand by the old, you know, um, constitutional silver. It's not bad. It's just that it's a lot more work to determine because now you're talking about the chance there's some circulation issues that are going on because, you know, there's wear when you circulate coins. There's also an issue of, um, you know, the actual denomination Oh, not the, not, not the denomination, but the actual amount of silver weight inside the denomination. So, for example, a quarter, I think, is 0.774% silver. So, do the math on that. A quarter ounce at 0.774. Yeah, dimes the same way. You know, some dimes are 90%. Other ones are like 40%. You know, you got to figure out the years and stuff. So, you sit in all this. Here, it says on there, three nines. Three nines, one gram, assayed, done. Okay, same thing with the all, um, you know, the 999 silver dimes. Uh, well, not silver dimes, but uh, tenths and quarters and halves. So you get denominational silver. 
doing what silver does, but you don't have to do hardly any of the math. If something costs a quarter ounce of silver, you've got a quarter ounce of silver, no more, no less. Um, going in into tomorrow, we're going to be looking at the futures markets. I will be giving you guys a video update on that, and I got some cool Atmex Direct uh, coins I want to show you um, tonight for that, uh, tomorrow night for that. And um, we're going to try to get a bead on what the pulse of the market is. I got to tell you, based on what I've seen, and as long as I've been in this game, which is not very long compared to some of the other stackers, I think we're going to see something magical in silver this week. I'm not trying to pressure anybody to buy any silver uh, this weekend. If you are able to buy some, buy some. If not, well, I think Monday you'll feel compelled. And I think by Friday you're going to feel like a genius. That's just my speculation. But, um... I appreciate you guys, you know, uh, commenting. I love collaborating and talking with you and, and chatting back and forth with you. Um, you know, and I have a question. What do you guys think happened with the Libertads on retail right now? Because Libertads have shot up. And I think that it's probably because the Mexican government's talking about monetizing silver. It could be something else. If you're around the globe and you're in Mexico or you're someplace and you're listening to 5150, 500 plus of you, I'm so happy. Um, then please um, let me know, let us know what's, what's going on with that. So that's, that's, the, that's the big news for tonight. Libertads are shooting up in price ahead of everything else that I have seen so far, and I'm sure there's a good reason for it. Okay, long videos and more to come. Um, let me see if I can think of a new song <laughs> for you guys next time, or maybe I'll do a movie sketch or something. But I love hanging out with you guys. I love showing you guys the silver. And mind you, this is the only part of it. This has got to make payroll for all of my friends and family that I'm going to hire to work for my company um, that's either going to be traveling or going to be doing, you know, asset acquisition or any of that stuff. Once silver reaches its true form, this is going to be payroll for them and, um, and you know, uh, basically my way of blessing them and my way of keeping things going um, once the fiat dollar party stops. Okay? Silver. It's everywhere you want to be, and it's definitely going to be everywhere and everything for the new paradigm. Oh, and by the way, for all of you silver protectors out there, I have no animus against you. I appreciate you respecting silver that much, but let me tell you something. You are missing out on a therapy that you cannot possibly imagine how good it feels right now. I am completely at peace reaching in and having silver rain from my hands. If you're able to try it, try it. Get some coins. Get some silver coins. Just get some like regular ones that are kind of beat up or whatever and you know they're pure silver and just run them through your hands you have to do this you have to feel why silver is money you can't just collect it keep it in plastic and you know wait for it to revalue become connected to it all right try that okay guys i'm gonna bag this stuff up i'm gonna put this stuff away thumbs up share subscribe thanks for listening in on some of these longer videos the gains that are coming are insane we may see some of that magic this week but I can tell you this, come the end of April, our conversations are going to be completely different. Mark my words. All right, guys. Love you. Silver 150, Silver 5150 out.